let us highlights in review sexual reproduction in plants sexual reproduction means as already stated two parents one male and another one female involved in the reproduction now male parent produces the male gametes female parent produces the female gamete the fusion of the male gamete and the female gamete this process is known as fertilization the product of fertilization is called zygote the zygote undergoes to cell divide and growth to produce new individual this is known as sexual reproduction in this case two parents are involved two parents are involved this sexual reproduction in tamil we call the word is polina perukam sex organs are involved sex organs are involved while in case of plants the stamens are produced the pollen grain which contains male gamete now pollination pollination is the first step in the sexual reproduction in plants what is mean by pollination pollination is nothing but transfer of pollen grain from ripe anther into the stigma of same or different flower are called pollination the pollination mainly the agents there are two types of pollinations are there one is self pollination and cross pollination what is mean by self pollination the transfer of pollen grain occurs within the same flower or between flowers of the same plant between the flowers of the same plant are called self pollination this is we call the word is autogamy autogamy cross pollination the cross pollination is the transfer of pollen grain occurs between flowers of the different plants of the same species species means inam that pollination two types of pollination in this case of cell pollination the transfer of pollen grain occurs within the same flower within the same flower or the flower between the flowers of the same plant between the flowers of the same plant we call the word is self pollination now the agents are very important to carry the pollen grains from one flower to another flower the next case second case cross pollination the transfer of pollen grain occurs the flowers between different plants of the same species this is one plant this is another plant different plants of the same species this pollination is known as cross pollination agents of pollination cross pollination involves various external agents namely air or wind water insects birds and other animals in birds are a mostly very important role to transfer of the what means a pollen grain and at the same time the most of the flowers are pollinated by insects most of the flowers are pollinated by insects that flowers are called entomophily entomophilous flowers are brightly colored could you get the any chance go for the garden you observe you yes, scrutinize watch the most of the flies insects birds they are roaming what they are doing there they are helps in transfer of the pollen grain from one flower to another flower they are help in pollination they are help in pollination pollination by insects in this case of flowers shows some 
characteristic features flowers mostly brightly brightly colored to attract the insects to attract the insects the next is flowers are produce the scent that attract the insects for pollination some flowers are produce nectar or honey this is a food for insects that insects if it is go and visiting the different flower to bring or carry the pollen grain from one flower to another flower pollen grains are always sticky produced in sticky nature they are produced in less in number they are produced in less in number example dahlia rose and sunflowers the next pollination by wind in this case mostly the pollen grains are always is very light and dry and produced in large number of the pollen grains are produced large numbers stigma is a always is large and feathery in nature to catch the wind pollinated pollen grains wind pollinated pollen grains this is occurs in wheat maize palm and grasses now pollination by water this is takes place in water plants hydropoid plant aquatic plants like hydrilla and valesnaria in this case water currents to bring pollen grain from anther of male flower to stigma of the another flower here water current is a agent water is a agent hydrophily such pollination is known as hydrophily the fruit fruit the types of fruit is nothing but the ovary ripened ovary after the fertilization form a fruit the fruits are two types of the fruit dry fruit and fleshy fruit dry fruit in case the fruit wall is always a thin and dry in nature example pea cotton lady's finger maize sunflower bean fleshy fruit while in case of the mango fruit they are a fleshy and thick in nature thick in nature now the fruit wall is thick in nature that fruit is called the what is fleshy fruit example in mango tomato brinjal orange coconut and plum next parts of a fruit fruit is ripened ovary formed after the fertilization now the fruit the fr- each fruit consists of two part outer part is called the fruit wall pericarp and seed the fruit wall is developed from wall of the ovary wall of the ovary in fruits like mango if you have to take the mango is a season now national fruit of our country now the mango pericarp is differentiated pericarp means technical word a common word is a fruit wall may be differentiated into three layers namely outer layer is called epicarp the middle layer is called mesocarp and inner layer is called endocarp inner layer is called endocarp now we are edible part of mango is mesocarp mesocarp much fleshy and juicy in nature juicy in nature functions of fruit the fruit is a to do the three main functions generally it protect the seed from animals and unfavorable climatic condition unfavorable climatic condition the it helps in dispersal of the seed to distant places the next it is a storehouse of food material it is the storehouse of the food material the seed the ovules after the fertilization develop into the seed e a seed contains a within small a baby plant inside more precisely a seed consists of an 
embryo small embryo one or two cotyledon and protective seed coat protective seed coat embryo is represented by two thing one is the plumule and a radical on germination of the plumule gives rise to shoot system plumule gives rise to shoot system radical gives rise to root system radical gives rise to root system yes. next uh, types of seeds based on the number of cotyledon present in a seed the seeds are are two types dicotyledonous seed monocotyledonous seed in shortly we call dicot seed and monocot seed di coty le den nas dicot lead nas mono coty le den le den nas dicot lead nas seed in this case bean is the example for dicot seed here corn seed is the monocot seed now the dicot two cotyledon is present two cotyledon are present monocot only one cotyledon or a seed leaf is present endosperm is absent endosperm is present the food materials are stored in dicotyledon is cotyledon in the form of cotyledon the food is stored in a endosperm endosperm example dicotyledon example sunflower that is next mango monocotyledons example rice wheat maize now i hope you have to understand very clear cut about the sexual reproduction in plants now dear students and parents end of this video session i have attached the question bank study material ppt presentation and also enclose the neat oriented questions neat oriented questions you have to go through all the topic you try to answer in self evaluation questions self evaluation questions so now this is a basement for further classes Thank you children